Recent research on beaver dams has shown that the upstream slope beneath the water is a lot shallower than the downstream slope, meaning that they can hold back considerably more water, something that I can demonstrate using this pair of doorstops. Now, if the beavers got it wrong and built their dam with a sheer face upstream, let's imagine that the door represents the weight of the water in the lake. If the mass of water is greater than the mass of the dam, then it's easily shifted by that water. However, the beavers don't do that, do they? They have the shallow slope on their dams. And this means that when the weight of the water meets the dam, the vertical forces pressing down outweigh the horizontal forces of the water pressing downstream, and the dam is immovable. In the real world of the beaver, as the horizontal forces of the water meet the dam, they become vertical and pin that dam to the base of the lake. And that's how it can hold back a lot more water. Whilst we haven't copied beaver dam building, human engineers have plumped for some of the same solutions. Just like the beavers, we also bow our dams upstream, a proven way of engineering these structures to be strong and incredibly long-lasting. So long-lasting, in fact, that beaver dams marked up on maps of North America from 1868 can still be found in use today. Using sticks, stones, rocks and mud, these structures are clearly built to last. So just how do these master builders do it? And what can we learn from beaver engineering expertise? Beavers really are the ones which in our field of hydraulic engineering provide by far the, the most interesting and the most uh, far-reaching uh, solution to, uh, to problems. Dr. Gerald Muller is an engineer convinced that when it comes to the dams of the future, taking a log out of the beaver construction manual is a very sensible approach. Beaver dams are very interesting from the, the point of view that A, they are very strong, and B, you use natural material, which is available everywhere, which is quite cheap. It also is a nature-based solution where we can reuse the material easily, if you would build a dam from reinforced concrete and you wanted to take it away, you need to get the jackhammer out and hammer it apart. And you are left with some steel and um, a pile of rubble, which cannot really be reused. And from that point of view, a solution that, uh, like this is really very um, near ideal, I must say. 